The National Democratic Institute, NDI, and the International Republican Institute, IRI, wants Nigeria to implement recommendations that will make future elections in the country more credible and acceptable. The two U.S.-based International Election Observer Mission to Nigeria's 2019 election in its assessment report released in Abuja said the February to March election did not meet the expectation of Nigerians. This next report tells us more. The NDI and IRI had in June released a joint report made by its observer mission on the 2019 general election. Now, the final recommendations of that report has been made public to the media in Abuja. Both groups in the report observed that the 2019 polls did not meet the expectations of most Nigerians, stressing that the sudden postponement of the February 16 elections undermines public confidence in the electoral body. The bodies believe issues such as political godfatherism, free access to public funds by elected officials, and low participation of women and young people in politics must be addressed to enhance credibility of future elections in the country. The level of desperation to get into political office itself is something that has to be addressed. The fact is that the stakes are just too high. The, the um, perquisites of electoral office in Nigeria are stupendous. So people are willing to kill and to die uh, for, in, in order to get into those positions. Many of the recommendations that have been made in the past, including recommendations made by Nigerian-led initiatives, have not been implemented. Mm -hmm. And there is a sense that if these recommendations were implemented, they could improve significantly the conduct of elections in Nigeria. Uh, we know that INEC is um, undertaking some uh, improvements, some innovations with regards to voter registration and the voter card. Um, and those are, those are good. But on the end side of it, the transmission of election results uh, still slows down the process considerably. Democracy. Uh, has not been working very well for, for people in Nigeria. Uh, the quality or lack of it, of the, of the governance that we dispense to our citizens is very, very low, uh, especially at the state and local levels. Uh, people who are very close uh, to their constituents know that, uh, I mean, Nigerians are eking out a living uh, in spite of government. And when people don't feel the impact of governance, I mean, they, 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 they feel no stake in actually coming forward to, to, to cast their votes or to participate in elections. We know there were pockets of violence across the country, and these pockets of violence affected um, both the ruling party and the main opposition. Um, the deficiencies that were mentioned, uh, the drawbacks that were mentioned, also affected both the ruling party and the main opposition. So when they try to spin the story to appear as if all of these reports of these international organizations, um, observers, are a domination of the ruling party, is a lie. It's actually a domination of every major player in the political system. The Independent National Electoral Commission has promised to look at the report and recommendations thoroughly and adopt any aspect of it that will improve the country's electoral process. Unyi Adekunle, TV360, Abuja.